What's up? Oh, you could see the color, the cellophane in my hair. That wasn't the vision I had, but we're gonna move on anyway. What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do. Hey, that's all we do. Hey, 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 hey. I'm coming to you with another video. Coming to you with another video. Thank you. I know I got blurry for a minute. So I did a live video on my YouTube channel. I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but hold up. Wait a minute. Holy, no, I'm just kidding. But um, if you guys have not joined the fam bam, now will be a great time to do so. And also while you're at it, just go ahead and click that link tree that's in the description box and follow me on all my social media platforms because I am on the tick to the top, okay? I'm on Instagram. I don't do Snapchat that much anymore, but I am on Twitter here and there. But really Instagram and TikTok is where you can catch me. I'm on Facebook too. So I wanted to get that out of the way before we get started and also also, I feel like every time I'm coming to you guys, I got to reintroduce myself because I always do something different to my hair. So let's just show you because um, last time I think we did a video, I did a live video. Um, I had it got cut all the way off. Well, it's growing back now, but I, then I decided to get it like tapered. So I got it tapered and um, on this side the back and then this side. And the reason that I have this clip is because I recently cellophane my hair red and um, I just washed it the other day. So we need as much stretch as we can because those of you guys that are natural, you already know that the shrinkage is real. So we just gotta deal with it till we done, okay? In my last video, my last live video, I did a live unboxing, which I am going to do um, today too, but obviously that's gonna go before this. So anyway, I'll just link this video in that video. So if you haven't seen it, go check that one out. It's better for me to do live unboxings because um, just as far as the time, my time and schedule goes so you know I'm gonna try to keep them short and sweet so you guys can just watch the replay and see my hauls and stuff like that because hauls are pretty fun what I did get in the last video and I'm all up in your grill so you can see the real AA but what I got last time was these um were these ColourPop face powders now I got the whole collection they came out with um I'm not sure how many shades actually let me grab my phone let's do that let's do that but one thing I do know I showed you guys in my last swatch video all of the different shades and it goes to the deepest of the deep and I probably should have had this on my I always say that I feel like but I should have had it on my phone but I didn't think I was gonna go to it girl but it is called the pretty fresh the ColourPop pretty fresh powder and I gotta give you guys a little bit of um, background as I go to their website. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a video on my channel a couple of years ago, or maybe even three, not sure. But I was actually a model for this campaign when they launched the Pretty Fresh, the Pretty Fresh Foundation. I was actually a model for it. Now I wasn't for the powder, but definitely for the foundation and the concealer. And so it's pretty exciting to see it because it totally brought back like all the feels. But I'm gonna like pull it up real quick just so that I can show you guys. So it is called Pretty Fresh Face Powder and they have it as light as light number seven. Oh wow, light number seven, fair number two. Okay, so they go with like, they have fair, then they have medium, then they have light or maybe light before medium, then they have medium dark, then they have um, dark. So I am in the dark family. If you guys wanna see, I will link the video where I showed these and I may just kind of give you like a little picture or snapshot or something like that somewhere in this video but they go all the way up to I believe dark deep dark 25 okay what I did was I pulled dark 18 and 19 because I wasn't really sure which one I am but what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out which one we want to use and then I'm gonna put primer on my face I'm gonna do a little bit of corrector and I'll probably do that off camera just to make this video shorter but what I am gonna do is give you an example of how you can match your powder I don't know what I did with my Urban Decay powder but this is my Fenty Beauty powder and I use this in 390 and the reason I use it in 390 is because the 400 is a little bit too deep or too like orange for me or maybe it's red I can't recall but I did a video on that I still have it I just don't use it so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna hold them up to this powder to see which one I think may be the best and I also have like fresh brushes I'm gonna do one side with the ColourPop powder and I'm gonna do another side with the Fenty Beauty powder since that's the 
the powder of choice lately that I've been loving. I'm just, the, the best way that I can give you guys a honest, like first impression is by me trying it against something that is like a holy grail of mine that I love. So that's the best way that I can give it to you. Uptown Funk, I'm gonna give it to you. And I will have you know, yes, I'm doing corrector. Yes, I'm doing foundation because I am actually um, taking care of some business today in which I need makeup on. Or yeah, I'm, I must needs, must needs today. Now, this is what I'm gonna do. I just pray that they're not that different and that you guys can see how it holds up and that I don't have to go over it with my holy grail because I don't want to have to, but oh my gosh, look at the difference. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No. What are we gonna do? It's not as juicy as I thought it would be. Okay, not juicy, but it's not as yellow as I thought it would be. These are the closest colors, y'all. I thought sure that this uh, number 18 would be it. Oh my gosh. So based on what Fenty gives me and based on these two, I'm gonna have to go with the 18. The 18 is this one right here. It has a little more golden. This 19 is a little more, um, I don't know, it's a little, the shade is a little a little off, a little more neutral maybe. Oh, dear father of heaven. And the reason that I didn't do my corrector and everything first is because I wanted you guys to see what I'm doing underneath so you know that like I'm not doing any tricks or tweaks or anything like that. First, I am gonna go in with my base and this is the Lancome La Base. This is the sample size, not the sample size, but the travel size. And I always use this one, always. And I do, I do have a bigger one right here. I don't know if you guys could see that's kind of blurred out. That's a bigger one. I think those are like 42 and this one's like 16 or something. So anyway, just blend that baby in. And lately I've been using my makeup forever. I kind of, you know, toggle between the makeup forever and the Fenty, but because it's like on an applicator and it's just easy to grab and go, I'm going to use that and I'm going to show you the difference. And so first let's do right here. Now I do go in with a little bit of concealer after I put on my foundation and I got a bump there too. Just these bumps ain't loyal. Let's do this first. And the foundation of choice today is going to be my Morphe foundation because I don't know, she's pretty flawless. I like her a lot. I think it's called Silk Effects. It's the one that Makeup Shayla collaborated with them on. Always do this prior to any, whether it's a powder foundation or liquid foundation, cream foundation, whatever. Always, I always correct, just always. So now that we have the corrector on our face, you guys see it just neutralizes the dark spots. It doesn't completely hide them, but it neutralizes them to where they're not super deep. So now we're gonna go in with this Morphe foundation. And what I need you guys to do right here is to pray. Okay, because I I thought this powder was gonna be a little more yellow, so I may have to go on top of it, um, and it may work out fine. I am gonna blend out this Morphe foundation. I don't remember the shade I am in this foundation, um, but I do have a video where I did a review on it, and I actually have been using this ever since. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm almost out of it too. I'm gonna take this chestnut in um, uh, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and I'm just gonna place it on top of those spots that are just kinda being a little hard to hide. And I think I have a little, um, I had a scar there too. And then I'm gonna go in with this butterscotch and we're going to highlight. I love this technique. Just put a little right there and some right here. You don't, it doesn't require a lot. And I like it because then I blend it out. I don't do that whole triangle thing I used to do. I have opened up my new palette. Booyah. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. It is um, Ring the Alarm. And I've been telling, I've been showing y'all the cracked one and where I hit pan and it's like almost like I can't get anything else out of it. So that shade that I like so much, so I opened a new one. I showed y'all that because I usually take this to fan it and dry it just a little bit for it to get a little more tacky. So then I'm taking my Gravitobian and I'm going underneath to set that. That's the most I bake just to bring that highlight towards the um the inside of my face i don't really bake under my eye because i don't like the way that looks under my eye i did bring two different brushes and i tried to link these brushes that i use in my last video and it looks like they were discontinued but there was a um a different one that was similar so i'll probably link that same one but i brought two fresh brushes so that you guys can see how it operates and that's what it looks like hey she might work out girl she look she came all the way on that brush she might really work work out please work out and then I pat that in she looking a little dark she looking a little dark girl she looking a little dark the consistency of the powder is great but unfortunately that's really not my shade Ooh, child so let's do this side with the Fenty I can't really see in the screen what the if, if it's a difference 
Oh, okay. Now, this is a trip part about it, and I'm telling you, this is the thing about doing YouTube too. When I look in my monitor, it's like, whoa, Nelly, right? But then when I look in my mirror, when I look in the mirror, it doesn't look bad. It, it like, I don't know. Y'all gonna have to tell me, I grabbed up the other brush. I grabbed the, and ColourPop, let me tell y'all something. A lot comes off at one time. I don't, I don't need that much to come off. Yo, screw No, I'm just kidding. Here's the left side. This is the um, the ColourPop side, and this is the Fenty side. Now, I can't see this side because I'm not looking at my monitor, but let's let's get my phone and give you a little close-up action. Let me clean the lens. Always clean your lenses, y'all, when you um, when you film and are taking a picture, girl. But let's take a little video. So this is the ColourPop side, right, Chia? And then this is the Fenty side. And to be honest, now when I'm looking face on, I don't really see a difference. Y'all gotta let me know in the comments if you see a difference. I think that I can work with this ColourPop. You guys, please don't forget to join the Fan Bam. It does help the channel out tremendously. Join the Fan Bam, like, comment, share the video if you can. That would be super dope. I would just love you forever. And make sure you look at my playlist and the other videos just to see if you missed anything, all right? So you guys have an awesome, blessed day. And I'm not gonna say that I'll see you sooner than you think, but I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, y'all. I've had a very um, productive day. And actually, I tested out some more highlighter too, which that I think that's going to be a fave. But I need to blot, first of all, so we can even get down to the bottom of this. But it's 9 o'clock now. I think I did that video at like 12 o'clock today, earlier. Let me blot a little bit. This is not really about like liquid foundation. I think that you really couldn't tell which side was which. And this is the color pop side. And this is the um, the Fenty side. But I will say, I feel like this side is a little more lively and this side is a little more dull, like up and through here. Obviously not with the highlight because I'm gonna tell y'all about that later because listen, I did a haul. So the haul is already up because I did a live haul. I will link it in this video, but um, it just looks a little dull down here, but it's not bad at all. Like, I don't think, I don't think anyone knew, okay? So that's the update, girl. To keep you neat, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see, keep beauty makeover.